The image shown is the WTP4418, but these instructions work for either the WTP4408 or the WTP4418. Welcome to the WTP4408 and 4418 timer photo controller walkthrough. This step-by-step -step guide will go through the different menu options available to you when programming the controller. Please note that if you ever need to get back to the main menu, the escape key will always back you out of any menu and bring you back to the main screen. What would you like to learn about the controller? Let's start with adjusting the day and time. Click on A for setup. Using A and B, select Adjust Date Time from the menu and click on D to enter. This screen shows the existing setting. Click on D to edit. Note, you can press Escape to go back or exit. Using number pads, select the last two digits of the year. For example, 07 for 2007. Press D if OK or A to retry. Follow the same instructions for month, date, hour, and minutes. After setting the minute page, use A and B to set AM and PM, then press D. You are done. Press Escape to get back to the main menu. Next, we're setting daylight savings. Make sure you're at the main menu where you see the time and date. Use the Escape button to get there. Press A to enter Setup Menu. Using A and B, select Daylight Savings from the menu and click on D to enter. Use A and B to enable or disable daylight savings. If you select off and press D, you go to the main menu and you are done. If you select on, you get a new menu. In this page, choose the day in which you want to enter daylight savings time. Use A and B to select the day and then press C to move cursor to month. And again, use A and B to change month. Press D when done. In this page, choose the day in which you want to enter standard time. Use A and B to select the day, and then press C to move the cursor to the month. And again, use A and B to change the month. Press D when done. After the above step, you should be back in Setup Menu. To go back to the main menu, press Escape. You're done. Now we're going to learn how to add, edit, and delete schedules. Make sure you're at the main menu. You should see the time. Press B to enter the schedule menu. Using A and B, scroll to View Edit Schedules and press D to enter. You are asked to select an output. Select the desired output using number pads. As you see, there are no schedules. Press D for new. Press A to add time. Use the number pads to enter time. Use C to change AM PM and press D when done. Now press B for action. Using A and B, scroll down to any action desired. Press D when done. Press C to select days. All days are pre-selected. Use the number pad to deselect and press D when done. Back to the new output page, you can see the time, action, and days you have changed. To keep these changes, you have to press D to save. Pressing Escape would ignore all changes. After pressing Save, you have successfully added a first schedule. Press D for New to add another schedule for the same output or press Escape to change the output. Try a few more. To delete a schedule, make sure you're at the main menu. You should see the time. Press B to enter the schedule menu. Using A and B, scroll to View Edit Schedules and press D to enter. You are asked to select an output. Select the desired output using the number pad. Here, if added before, you see schedules that you have added. Scroll up and down using A and B and select one. Press CLR to erase it. You have successfully deleted a schedule. To delete a schedule from a different output, press Escape. And you're done. Let's add or edit a holiday schedule. Make sure you're at the main menu. You should see the time. Press B to enter the schedule menu. Using A and B, scroll to View Edit Holiday and press D to enter. Press D for a new holiday. Use the number pad to enter the month and day. Use A and B to move back and forth between month and day. Press D when done. The holiday is added. Now, to add a schedule for the holiday, select an output using the number pad. From here on, just follow the same steps as add editing a regular schedule. Press Escape to get back to the main menu. Now let's delete a holiday schedule. Make sure you're at the main menu. You should see the time. 
press B to enter the schedule menu. Using A and B, scroll to View Edit Holiday and press D to enter. Scroll up and down using A and B to select a holiday. You could erase a holiday now if you press CLR, but remember that all the schedules associated with that holiday will be erased. If you would like to erase schedules in a holiday, just press C for edit. Deleting holiday schedules is identical to deleting regular schedules. Follow the same steps and you're done. Press escape to get back to the main menu. Let's set the override outputs. Make sure you are at the main menu. You should see the time. Press C to enter the main menu. Using A and B, scroll to override outputs and press D to enter. Use the number pads to select the outputs you want to control manually. Now, if you press C, you will send an off signal to the outputs that are checkmarked. Pressing D would send an on command. This is usually used for testing. And you're done. Press escape to get back to the main menu. To adjust the photo cell setting, make sure you're at the main menu. You should see the time. Press A to enter the setup menu. Using A and B, scroll to photo settings and press D to enter. Using A and B, enable or disable the photo cell. Enabling the photo cell only activates the reading of the sensor. Press D for OK and you're done. Press Escape to get back to the main menu. Setting the Photo Test 5S mode. Make sure you are at the main menu. You should see the time. Press C to enter the main menu. Using A and B, scroll down to Photo Test 5S mode and press D to enter. Use A and B to enable and disable the 3 seconds mode. This mode is used for testing and for reducing the photo cell response time to three seconds. Press D for OK. It will automatically time out. And you're done. Press Escape to go back to the main menu. Next, the astronomical settings. Make sure you're at the main page where time is showing. Press A to enter setup. Use A and B to select astro settings, then press D to enter. In this page, use A and B to enable or disable astro and press D for OK. Now you're in the Astro Setup menu. Scroll down using B to adjust location and press D for OK. Use the number pads to enter your latitude. Use C to change north and south. Press D when done. Next, select Time Zone using A and B. Press D when done. In this step, you enter the offset time for dawn. In other words, how much sooner or later you want the lights to go off at dawn. Use the number pad to enter this time in minutes and use C to make it minus or plus, meaning before or after, respectively. Press D when done. Now you repeat this last step for dusk, how much sooner or later you want the lights to turn on. After pressing OK, you enter the Astro Setup menu. Here, you can select any of the previous steps and then edit them again. Use the Escape button to get back to the main page. Viewing Sunset Sunrise Time. Make sure you are at the main menu. You should see the time. Press D to enter the info menu. Using A and B, scroll to Sunset Sunrise TM and press D to enter. This shows the sunset and sunrise time according to the astronomical settings that you edited earlier. And you're done. Press Escape to return to the main menu. To adjust the sentry options, make sure you're at the main menu. You should see the time. Press A to enter the setup menu. Using A and B, scroll to Sentry Option and press D to enter. Using the number pads, select and deselect any output to be a Sentry output. Note, you can only use Sentry Control in conjunction with timed off schedules. Press D for OK, then press Escape to go back to the main menu. You will see a letter S on the right side of the LCD screen, which indicates that at least one output is set to Sentry Option. And you're done. View Event Logs. Make sure you are at the main menu. You should see the time. Press D to enter the info menu. Using A and B, scroll to View Event Logs and press D to enter. This shows the logs of activities for all the outputs. And you're done. Press Escape to return to the main menu. Viewing Memory Status. Make sure you are at the main menu. You should see the time. Press D to enter the info menu. Using A and B, scroll to Memory Status and press D to enter. This shows the number of schedules programmed. And you're done. Press Escape to return to the main menu. Next, let's learn how to clear the memory. Make sure you're at the main menu. You should see the time. 
Press A to enter the setup menu. Using A and B, scroll to Clear Memory and press D to enter. In this menu, you can delete programs, holidays, and logs. Simply select one using A and B and then use D for OK. Then press A to confirm. From this menu, you can also select Factory Default, which erases all the programming, holidays, and logs. And you're done. Press Escape to get back to the main menu. This has been an instructional overview of the WTP4408 and 4418 Timer Photo Controller from Douglas Lighting Controls. For more information, visit our website.